welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new episode of BitLife Controls My Sims Royal Edition. I am so excited for today's episode because we already had our first baby and we've got baby number two on the way. So I hope you are all looking forward to it. I just finished the live chat for the Decades premiere with all of you and I had a blast. Thank you so much to everyone who joined me. I really enjoyed chatting with all of you and visiting. It was so much fun. I think we're going to do more of those in the future because it was awesome. So a big thank you to everyone who showed up. I really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and jump into today's episode. So little cute Lottie is in the bath. She is in her second trimester. She's got her little bit of a baby bump and she is enjoying her very luxurious bathroom. I think when I gave the house tour in the last episode, I forgot to show you this really cute romantic hot tub little private patio that I gave the two of them. Uh, and downstairs we have the Marquise. I think it's actually pronounced Marquise. I think I was saying it wrong the entire episode last time. Because, you know, that's just what you do. Um, but yeah, so here's little Edmund looking super happy in his super cute room. I am so excited. I want to show you the playroom. So I've decided that this is uh, going to be a huge playroom that is shared amongst both babies. I put pink wallpaper in the baby's room, uh, the second baby. I'm trying to visualize a girl. I'm trying to put it out into the world and hope that it comes back to me. But I don't know. But anyways, so they have this really cute like little movie watching area. We've got the tablet, we've got music, we've got gaming, we've got the little rocking horse. Then they've got the ball pit, a little eating area. And then over here we've got the dollhouse and all of the teddy bears. We also have the little basketball net. And yeah, I'm very happy with how the playroom turned out. And I like that it's connected. Um, and each baby will have their own bathroom. And speaking of bathrooms, I did finish little Edmund's bathroom. So I put a little thing of toys there. He's got a sink and some cute fun mirrors for when he's a kiddo. We've got his toilet and just a little bath for him right now. So there is little Edmund's bathroom. So I'm so excited. Uh, let's do a quick recap. So in the last episode, we left off at the age of 40 years old. We gave birth to Edmund Attenborough. Uh, we meditated a bunch and we worked out and we got pregnant. So I'm so excited. Um, other than that, I just spent time with family and friends and nothing super exciting really happened. I also had her read a lot of books and work out. So we are currently 100% everything. So we're doing really great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and age her up so we can find out if we're having a boy or a girl. I'm so sad. Miscarriage. You suffered a second trimester miscarriage and lost the baby. I'm so sad. I can't believe that happened. Oh. Duke, Frankie, and I are having his, our relationship went down a little. I'm going to give him a compliment. We told him he is a gangster and he told us we were the life of the party. Um, at least our relationship with him went back up. So, um, oh, she's so pregnant and she's not going to be pregnant anymore. I have to go get rid of it. I have to go end the pregnancy. Oh my gosh, look, she was pregnant with two female babies. That would have been so much fun having little twinsies. Okay. We are going to end the pregnancy. Oh, I'm so sad. So while they are sleeping, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get her to do like lots of meditation and everything. Thank you. 
Oh, yeah. Okay, so I had her walk a lot, meditate a lot, and they woohooed a lot, and I was able to get her pregnant again. Whew. Oh my gosh, I, if we have another miscarriage, I'm gonna be so ridiculously sad, y'all. Oh, he has a dirty diaper again. Little Edmund is such a stinky little baby. You are so cute. I really want her to knit a onesie, but I just don't think we're there yet. So I'll just get her to start knitting some socks. Um, so I think that Victoria, or I feel like Lottie is probably so sad that she's lost a baby. She's probably going to have to take it extra careful while she is, um, while she is pregnant. I'm wondering if it's because I had her work out while she was pregnant, um, if that caused it, I don't know, but we're gonna like basically have her sit. Little Edmund, oh, well, at least we have one baby. I'm so sad. I'm gonna get her to go upstairs and do some try for babies again. So they've lost their baby. They're going to try again to expand their family. These two are having such a hard time. Um, I'm actually gonna age her up again. I wasn't planning on aging her up this much, but I wanna see if we keep the baby or not. And if we do, um, if we if we lose the baby, then we will uh, age her back down again and try IVF. <laughs> constipation, your mother is su suffering from constipation. Okay, Madison. <gasps> you just gave birth to a baby girl oh my gosh oh i actually love the name phoebe wouldn't phoebe be so cute i love that name okay marchin i don't even know how to say that word marchinus phoebe you are the proud mother of a baby girl named phoebe phoebe attenborough <laughs> phoebe attenborough the marchioness of bedford oh my gosh yes okay it's time for Marquette, the Marquise, uh, Marquise Edmund. It's time to vaccinate your son, Edmund. What will you do? Vaccinate him, please. Oh, look, we're 100% everything. Mom's got constipation. You know what? That's on her. I got my own, like, baby problems. Oh, she's coming down to bounce, Edmund. I hope she's pregnant. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Why are they getting so many twins? Look, two males and one female before it was two uh, females um, there must be something with the whole uh, with Frankie's gene oh he's such a good dad oh good job Frankie so handsome oh so she's in her little workout gear and Frankie is being the husband of the year by far giving his loving wife a foot massage what a hero i love this man so much isn't that so sweet of him look at her with her big belly oh she's so sweet so it says refreshed phalanges duchess lottie's souls haven't felt that good in a while she's all flirty from it <laughs> hey who am i to judge Okay, so I can get you to do some meditation because you are pregnant, so you can't do anything crazy, hardcore. And you need to come down and change the dirty diaper because the maid, the butler seems to never know how to change a dirty diaper. I think we should probably come downstairs. I am going to go quickly renovate little Phoebe's bedroom. And when I'm done, I will be back. Alrighty, so I just finished Phoebe's bedroom and I really like it. I wanted it to feel uber girly. Uh, in the future, for some reason, I'm like, okay, she's gonna be a huge K-pop fan. <laughs> I think that would be so cute and I have some really cute hairs. Oh my gosh, I'm just already so excited. Um, I gave her a little uh, walk-in closet type area here, which I think is so cute. Uh, then we have the changing table area and then over here is where her little baby cradle will be. I am so so excited. 
So I am gonna go ahead and get Lottie to come give birth. There we go, Duchess Lottie is bursting with anticipation to meet her bundle of joy. Aw, I feel so bad putting her through this, but like at her age, she has to push them out really quick. Okay, there we go, baby number two is on the way and Frankie is on his way also and little Phoebe will be born. Yay! It makes me think of Phoebe from uh, Charmed. I love that show. It was such a great show. <gasps> Little baby. Look at him. He's like, oh, I'm not another one. Oh, I am so relieved. Um, I'm really excited that we were able to have a, our second baby because now we have our spare, or we have our heir and we have our spare. <laughs> Well, handsome Frankie is like, honey, you worked so hard. Let me take care of this. And he's gonna say to her, you know, I would really like to take you out for dinner tonight. You have been such a trooper with the kids and the loss of our baby. You know, I really would like to be able, he's running away. <laughs> but he's gonna say, let's just go out for a date, which is the two of us. Cause we have, you know, butlers, they can take care of our kids. So let's go under Frankie and let's do spend time. I don't think she would be up for cliff diving right now. Uh, you took your husband Duke Frankie to to a have a random dance party in a public plaza. Okay, so I'm gonna take that as they went to a really nice lounge, just the two of them. Um, and she just had a baby, so I feel like she might not be feeling super attractive right now. Um, I know that that can be really hard on girls, so I think we should get her to go and put on a new outfit and get them ready for date night. Um, so I want something a little bit more fancy, something that'll make her feel really cute and attractive. Okay, so here is Lottie's going out outfit. I love it so much. I think she looks so gorgeous. And I put lots of jewels on her. She just wants to feel like, you know, she's the only girl in the world. And Frankie, of course, is gonna make her feel that way. Okay, so I downloaded this opera house. Look how amazing this is. This opera houses never cease to amaze me. Like it is so amazing the creations that people can come up with, truly amazing. So this one is called the Opera Restaurant and it is created by Shine Helig. Helig 1603. I probably pronounced that horrible and I'm so sorry, but I do love your creation. I think it is amazing. And I think this wonderful couple is going to have an absolute blast. Now, Frankie's whole thing with his wife has always been, you know, yes, you are a duchess. Yes, you are, you know, a very important person in the world, but you also are a person and I want you to have fun. I want you to get out. I want you to do things. I want you to be adventurous and I want you to live your life. I don't want you to just be, you know, the person who has to produce an heir and rule the country. I want you to be who you are, Lottie. And I think that's why Lottie and him, you know, get along so much because no one's ever brought that out of Lottie before. What's this deep conversation? See, he's talking about fame, like fame isn't everything, you know, sometimes we just have to have fun. So let's go in to this amazing build. Look how cool this is. Oh my gosh, let's pause this. That way we don't uh, lose anything. So it's got this really cool entryway. And then when you come in here, oh my goodness, look how amazing this is. <gasps> oh, wow. If this isn't somewhere a royal family member would go to have dinner, I do not know where else they would go. Like seriously, this is so cool. Look at this place. It just goes on forever. Wow, this is so cool so cool so they obviously would normally get box seats but i feel like they would uh probably be able to request a table on the ground floor and get really good seats oh my gosh is that harrison oh my gosh harrison put some clothes on even as an elder harrison is like 
my body, my choice. I am gonna be nude everywhere I go. Oh my gosh, dad, you are horrible. Let's just ignore the fact that Harrison refuses to wear clothes ever. There we go. So I've had her request a table. I had it took forever for the staff to show up. Shocker. A meal uh, for this game is all night. Fortunately, we went early enough. So she is going to get a table for these two. And I'm so excited for Frankie and her to just have some alone time together. And we're both hungry. So this should be good. Okay, so they're gonna sit together. I am going to go ahead and get her to order for the table. Um, I think we're gonna get them some Sims Metropolitans, and I feel like we should do something adventurous. Um, let's do a savory bacon love petals. Look how flirty she is. So I'm going to get her to, you know, flirt with her honey and just, you know, get to know them. And under relationship in BitLife, we will go under Duke Fran Frankie. We will give him a compliment. So we told Duke Frankie that he is a wizard. And let's go ahead and uh, have a conversation. You and your husband, Duke Frankie, had a conversation about Rihanna's legs. Oh, well, Rihanna does have really great legs, so I could see us both agreeing on that. And we'll give him some more compliments. Should we give him a gift? Let's get him a gift. A squatty potty. Um, I feel like he would want something fun, you know? Let's get him a Superman t-shirt. I feel like I would love to get a Superman t-shirt. He did not like that. Amazon has everything. So at least they're out. They're able to have a really good time. And, you know, Frankie's going to be like, you know, Lottie, I just really want us to have a good time. And I know that the royal tour is coming up soon. And I worry, you know, what if it takes too much out on you? You just had two children. We recently suffered a mi miscarriage. And now we're going to have to travel all around to all of the different Commonwealth countries. And Lottie's going to be like, you know, I really appreciate your concern for me. And I love that about you. I love that you, you're so supportive of me and that you take care of me that way and that you're thinking of me. But I just want you to know I'm going to be okay. You know, I've been raised to do this. It's going to be okay, I promise. And so, you know, Finn, uh, Frankie's going to be like, okay, well, I just want to make sure, you know. And she's like, plus, we're going to take the kids. You're going to be there with me. We're going to be okay. So Frankie's like, yeah, I'm a little nervous. I mean, I haven't ever done anything like this before. And she's like, well, don't worry. We're going to have everyone, you know, all of my assistants will be there. We'll make sure that there's enough people to help out with the kids when we have to meet with different people. And it's going to be okay. And, you know, it's still a little ways away. We have to wait till the kids are toddlers before we can leave anyways. So there'll be lots of time to prepare for it. He's like, well, hopefully there's lots of time for us to have fun too. I'd really like to go on a vacation together. You know, maybe we can go cliff climbing. And she's gonna be like, did I not ever tell you about the time my mom thought that she was capable of having us climb a mountain? So she's gonna tell a funny story and she's gonna tell Frankie about the time in uh, Mount Kamarebi where they did not make it to the top of the mountain. <laughs> oh, and the fact that she showed up in her bathing suit because you know that's what you do <gasps> oh so funny so Frankie's like well you know that doesn't have to stop us from having fun right now and she's like what do you mean he's like let's go I've got a surprise for you so she's like okay little cutie so I'm gonna get these two to travel Okay, so in the middle of the night, they have arrived at the bathhouse. Now, we're going to pretend that this is not in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and uh, that this is somewhere close by to where they live. Because obviously, they wouldn't have just shown up at Mount Kemerebi right away. So, he has rented out the bathhouse and it's gonna be just the two of them and he is going to bring her into the bathhouse and they are going to have some fun woohoos together in the bathhouse where in the snow just the two of them because they're super rich so they can afford 
to uh, do that together. Look how cute they are. I love the water. And oh, he gives her a kiss. <gasps> oh, he's going for it. <laughs> I love that interaction. They're so cute. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do more woo woos. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have them do it a couple times because if another baby was to happen, oh, I'm not going to complain yeah. about it. Uh. <gasps> Pregnancy. You are pregnant with your husband, Duke Frankie's baby. Yes. Keep the baby. I'm so happy. All right, I told you we were gonna get four. I had a feeling. So anyways, and now someone has walked in. <laughs> uh, we're like, oh, well, you can have it. We're done with it now. <laughs> These two are so cute. So I think they definitely had a really good time on their little date night. I think they really needed it. I'm gonna go ahead and send both of them home. I guess try for a baby again. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I think we're gonna go ahead and leave this part here. The family was able to meet our kids. We were able to have another baby and get pregnant again. In the next episode, we will probably maybe age up one, maybe even potentially two babies. We'll just have to see how it goes. And I have to get these two ready for their royal tour because I want them to travel across all of the royal lands. So they're going to be visiting all the politicians and all of the royal family members in all of the other parts of the world. So it's going to be really cool. So I'm going to download castles and make all new characters for them to visit. It. So I think that'll be a pretty cool and they'll do at their royal traveling uh, But I'm really happy. She was able to hang out with her family have a little bit of alone time with handsome Frankie the best husband I am pretty sure that has ever graced this earth so handsome and until next time I'm gonna say bye for now Making every note.